lifting your hands above your head. Yes. And even those that are joining us from around the world, I want you to lift up your hands and declare, you have rescued my life. Lord, you are the king of glory. You are the mighty God. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Lord of hosts. Yes. You are the lily of the valley. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are the provider. You are the porter. You are the savior. You are the cornerstone. You are the protector. You are the shield. Yeah. Somebody declare. Lift up your hand and tell him. Worship him, God bless you. Begin to tell him thank you. Lord, we say thank you. You have rescued our life. You are the defender. You are the redeemer. You are the invincible God. You are the hope of glory. You are the lion of Judah. You are the man of war. You are the sustainer. You are the restorer. You are a father to the fatherless. You are a husband to the widows. Lord, you have rescued our life. You are the way. Somebody tell him he's the way. Tell him he's the truth, he's the life. Yes. He's the ancient of days. He's the eternal God. He's the excellent God. He's the powerful God. He's the compassionate God. He's the commander-in-chief of the heavenly host. Le He's our refuge. Sound engineer, I need the monitors better. Le paragadoska magadeshka. Le paragadoska. He's our banner. He's the strong tower. He's the unchanging changer. He's the pillar of our lives. He's the glory and the lifter of our heads. Le paragadoska. Everybody stretch your hands to the altar. I want to pray a prayer of agreement and I send such a heavy anointing. Something is about to happen in somebody's life. Amen. Hey, as you're lifting your hands above your head. Le pragados. I receive. Heavenly Father, we are gathered in your presence. Yes, Speak to us and let your word come forth with power and with clarity. Yes, Lord. Let your people be blessed. Let your people be empowered. Yes. Let me be your mouthpiece, Lord. Let me speak as your oracle. Amen. Let your word in my mouth be like fire. Yes. And let the hearts of your people be receptive. Amen. Lord, speak to your people in the language they will understand. Yes. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. I decrease that you may increase. Yes. I disappear that you may appear. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, shout amen. amen. Somebody wave your hand and declare, my life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again. Come on, lift your hands above your head. Say, I declare. I declare. My story is changing. My story is changing. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Turn my glory to story. 
glory. Turn my, turn my story to glory. Turn my story to glory. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Turn my breakdowns to breakthrough. Turn my breakdowns to breakthrough. Turn my lamentation to laughter. Turn my lamentation to laughter. Somebody say, my father, my father. 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 Turn my insults to results. Turn my insult to results. Turn my mockery to victory. Turn my mockery to victory. Turn my devastation to restoration. Turn my devastation to restoration. Somebody lift up your hand, say, I declare. I declare. In the remaining months of this year. In the remaining months of this year. What I have been praying for. What I have been praying for. What I have been waiting for. What I have been waiting for. What I have been looking for. What I have been looking for. My hands will handle. My hands will handle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of God. I want to take this opportunity and thank God for every person that is here today at ECC Arena of Miracles. Look at your neighbor. Tell them you are in the right place at the right time. You are in the right place at the right time. To the viewers from around the world, you're joining us from North America. I, I want to hear the instrumentalist, but it has to be lower than my microphone. We are prophetic. To the viewers from around the world, you're joining us from North America, South America, Australia, Canada, all over Europe, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Belgium, Switzerland, wherever you are joining us from in Asia, in the Middle East, in Dubai, in Qatar, in Oman, in Kuwait. You're joining us from, North, uh, uh, from West Africa, in Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, wherever you are in South African part, you are in Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, you are within the East African community, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and all over the nations of the world. Distance is not a barrier. Welcome to this live broadcast and distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. I have been preaching and teaching on a message, the spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough. I have been dealing with the spirit. I have been destroying the spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough. And uh, from the last PhD service, I've began to recap on this man that was at the pool of Bethsaida for 38 years and the Bible says when Jesus came to the pool of Bethsaida this man said I have no man and therefore I said in this service I will be teaching about destiny helpers because many people are stranded in the journey of life because of lack of helpers and in this service I wish to help you to know the different types of helpers and how to identify and to connect with your destiny helpers somebody said destiny helpers destiny helpers so and then after that we are going to go into the anointing session so this is a message that i want you to follow me well because i will be talking i will be laying the foundation and i will be concluding tomorrow so follow me and follow me well so in this service i will major on the five types of destiny helpers that you will need in the journey of life and in your journey of destiny whether you are in the corporate world whether you are in the business world whether you are called in ministry whether you are in the political arena you cannot fulfill destiny by yourself there are people that God has strategically ordained and positioned for your life and they are called destiny helpers look at your neighbor tell them destiny helpers destiny helpers from the day you are born to the day you will exit this world you will need helpers of destiny and when I'm talking about destiny helpers to those that are asking oracle who is a destiny helper destiny helpers are people that facilitate your destiny destiny helpers are people that add value to you destiny helpers are people that are strategically positioned to help you arrive at your expected end the destiny helpers are people that help you to navigate through the obstacles of life and in your journey of life destiny helpers are people that help you in your area of calling if you are called in the marketplace in the business world in the corporate world in the political arena or in ministry they are people that help you destiny helpers are people that are bridges to your destiny they remove the barriers for you destiny helpers fight on your behalf as if the 
Patos are theirs. Hallelujah. Destiny help us are people that use their networks to open up opportunities for you. I want you to have a deep understanding on who is a destiny helper. They are positioned by God to make your way smooth. They are people that God has strategically positioned in this world to make your journey in life and, in, and your journey to destiny smooth. Destiny helpers are people that God has assigned to add value, to add usefulness, to add significance to your life. They come into your life to help you, to help you do what God has commissioned you to do. Destiny helpers also. They are supernatural agents of intervention. They are people that God has ordained as supernatural agents of intervention. They take you to where God wants you to be. Destiny helpers are, they carry your burdens. They are burden carriers for you. They prepare you for your destined position. And listen to me, no matter who you are in life, uh, you know, you will need a helper. Look at your neighbor, tell them you need a helper. You need a helper. Hallelujah. You will die local unless your destiny helper shows up. And today I want to show you the five types of destiny helpers that God is going to bring into your life and how you can connect to them. Lift up your hand and somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Whoever you have assigned. Whoever you have assigned. In my journey of destiny. In my journey of destiny. As my destiny helper. As my destiny helper. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Release them in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I declare. I declare. My destiny helpers. My destiny helpers. Appear and locate me in this season. Appear and locate me. Somebody begin to call your helper. Say, I call my destiny helper. I call my destiny helpers. from the north, from the north, from the south, from the south, from the east, from the east, from the west, from the west, wherever they are, wherever they are, appear now, appear now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I speak as an oracle, yes, yes, oracle. I release your destiny helpers, oh, yes. those that will connect you to projects, yes. yes. Those that will connect you to business opportunities. Oh, yes. I release destiny helpers. I receive. Those that will connect you to your job. Yes. Those that will connect you to businesses. Yes. I release your destiny helpers. Oh, yes. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Release my destiny helpers. Release my destiny. Those helpers. that will connect me to my spouse. Those that will connect. Those me to that my will connect me to my projects. Those that will connect. Those me to that my will project. connect me to my destiny my father my, my maker my father my maker connect me to my destiny help us connect me to my destiny in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i prophesy to every man and woman that is connected and those that are watching yes. and if you're watching share this broadcast in the name of jesus hey. as you are sharing receive your destiny help us i, I prophesy the destiny helper oh, yes. that will connect Connect you to your next level of breakthrough. Oh, yes. I prophesy as an oracle. Prophesy, I will prophesy. Destiny helper. Yes, oracle. That will connect you to the next dimension of breakthrough. Oh, yes. Let them appear. Appear now. Let them locate you by fire. Locate me by Somebody fire. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. My destiny helpers. My destiny helpers. That will connect me to my next level of breakthrough. That will connect me to my next Let level them of appear. Breakthrough. Let them appear. Let them locate me. Let them locate me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak connection to destiny helper. I receive. Every wind of disappointment. Yes. That has been blowing against you and your destiny helper. My God. I command it to cease in the name of Jesus. Amen. That wind of disappointment. Yes. Le paragados kamagades. Jesus. Any destiny helper. Yes. That has been held down in the prison of life. Yes. My God. I command them to be released speedily. Be released. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Wherever my destiny helpers are. Wherever my destiny helpers are. Release them speedily. Release them speedily. Release them speedily. Release them speedily. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. In this service. In this service. Position me. Position me. Never to miss my destiny helpers. Never to miss my destiny helpers. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Position me. Position 
salvation in me. my journey of life in my journey of life i will not miss my helper i will not miss my helper in the name of jesus 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 somebody say i declare i declare every destiny helper every destiny helper that has been assigned that has been assigned to connect me to greatness to connect me to greatness yeah my father my father my father my father release them in the name of jesus release them in the name of jesus sit down and sound engineer not yet hallelujah look at your neighbor tell them there is a destiny helper there, there is, is a destiny, destiny helper that god has assigned for your life that god has assigned for your life destiny helpers are ordained to assist you hey yes i'm praying for somebody today receive connection with people that will help you i receive i said receive connection with people that will help you i receive i receive i receive may god send somebody here yes. timely help us i receive may god send you tireless help us i receive may god send you consistent help us yeah. i receive may god send you strong help us i receive somebody say lord no connect me to people that will help me connect me to people that will help you know some of us are just surrounded by takers hallelujah and takers have no limits everybody that is coming into your life wants to take something but i'm praying for you may god send you people that will be a blessing into your life people that are helper receive a connection with your destiny help us i receive in the mighty name of jesus amen somebody shout i receive i receive i receive so follow me because i'm taking you somewhere somebody say i'm connecting to my helpers i'm connecting to my helpers somebody say i'm connecting to my helpers i'm connecting to my helpers and in this service one prayer i'm praying for you because if they are destiny helpers they are also destiny killers i am praying one prayer for all the sons and daughters partners of this ministry ecc family that god will make us visible to our destiny helpers and invisible to our destiny killers anybody that is assigned to be a destiny hijacker a destiny killer may god make us invisible lift up your hands say lord Lord, make me visible to my helpers make, make me visible, visible to my helpers and make me invincible to my destiny killers and make, make me invincible, invincible to my destiny, destiny killers. killers because if they are destiny helpers they are also destiny killers and destiny killers they block your dreams just like the family of Joseph they loved and rebuked his dreams destiny killers they delay your destiny they frustrate and waste your efforts destiny killers are real and they are there they always see the negative side of you destiny killers always tell you that your destiny is too big hallelujah your destiny killers are, are discouragers tell your neighbor destiny killers are discouragers if you have a discourager around your life a vdp ask your neighbor are you a vdp a very draining person are you a vdp for me i am i am allergic to vdp tell your neighbor don't be a discourager don't be a destiny killer don't be a discourager you know there are people that have a, they have a problem for every solution they are vdps and they are destiny killers they limit and they mock you destiny killers weaken your faith but i don't want to look at that i want to focus on the five types of destiny helpers that you need and that god will connect you to in this dispensation somebody say i receive I receive. Can we go to 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 2 to verse 3? 2 Kings chapter uh 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 2 to verse 3. And to those that are watching us from around the world, I want you to type I receive my destiny helpers. I want to show you five types of helpers that God is sending into your life to ensure that you fulfill your destiny and your assignment and your purpose. I declare your destiny will not be delayed. Your destiny will not be diverted. Your destiny will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Second Kings uh, chapter 5 from verse 2 to verse 3. And the Syrians had gone out on raids and had brought back a captive, a young girl from the land of Israel. She waited on Naaman's wife. Can we read verse 3? Then she said to her mistress, if only my master 
while with the prophet who is in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. The first type of helper that you need in your journey of life and destiny, they are called divine connectors. Somebody say divine connectors. Divine connectors. Ah, come on, talk to your neighbor and say divine connectors. Divine connectors. Somebody lift up your hand and say, Lord, release my divine connectors. Lord, release my divine connectors. Now listen to this. When you look at the scripture that we just read in 2 Kings from chapter 5, you will see this little girl. She was a captive girl, a slave girl that was a maid in Naman's, uh, in Naman's home. Naman brought her to serve the wife. She had no money. She had no power. She had no status. Hallelujah. But she was a divine connector. She had no prestige. She had no recognition. She was actually a slave girl and a housemaid in the house of Naman. But the slave Slave girl knew that God existed and she believed that if no man honestly sought God and connected to the prophet Elisha that he would be healed of leprosy she had confidence she knew what God could do she did not have the solution but she knew who had the solution to no man's leprosy hey yeah. you know the cure to your crisis is with somebody and look at this no man was healed of leprosy because there was a mate in his house who became a, a, a divine connector. Look at your neighbor, tell them divine connector. Divine connector. Now, who is a divine connector? To make it easy, they have the power to connect you to great people. They are not great themselves, but they have the power to connect you to great people and we all need to have this kind of people in our lives they may not be great themselves but they know somebody that you need they are called divine connectors somebody say my father my father my father my father, my father. Hey, release my divine connectors release my divine connectors are you listening to me so divine connectors they are ordinary people who do not have the power to change our lives, but they can connect you to somebody that has the power to change your life. I need to repeat that for somebody. Divine connectors, they don't have the power to change your life, but they know a person that can change your life. They are divine connectors this maid had no status she had no prestige she had no position but she knew how Naman would be cured of leprosy somebody say my father my maker my father my maker release my divine connectors release, release my, my divine connectors in the name of Jesus in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus so divine connectors they don't have the ability themselves to help you but you will need to receive these divine connectors. And for you to connect with them, you need discernment because they are ordinary people. May God open your eyes to see your divine connectors in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because they may come in forms that are, that, you know, we may not be always very receptive because they look ordinary. But look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. receive the spirit of discernment receive the spirit of discernment and it's only humble people that will be able to receive this kind of divine connectors because many of the people who will make you great are not great themselves look at your neighbor tell them some people that will make you great some people that will make you great they are not great themselves they are not great themselves these are divine connectors so you need to be sensitive they don't have what you are looking for but they know who has what you need and who has what you are looking for somebody say lord open my eyes lord open my some eyes. of us in the journey of life we have meet we have missed our helpers because of the packaging but you need to understand there are five dimensions of helpers lift up your hand and say lord no. no open my eyes open my eyes so understand this very well that many people who will make you great they are not great themselves so you must be sensitive because they know the great hey hey and most often divine connectors they look insignificant because they don't have what you are looking for but an encounter with them 
will cause your doors to be open. I pray the person that God has assigned as your divine connector yes. to connect you with that job, yes. with that project, hey, yes. with that great person, yes. may they manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that is the first category. And you can see in the case of Naaman, it came as a maid. Yet Naaman was a great man. Are you listening to me? Number two, you need burden bearers. Somebody say burden bearers. Burden bearers. Can we read John chapter 6 from verse 67? Burden bearers. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Release my burden bearers. Release, Release my, my burden bearers. Say, Lord. 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 Release my burden bearers. Release, Release my, my burden bearers. Watch this. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? Uh-huh. But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Uh-huh. Continue. Also, we have come to believe and know that you are Christ, the son of the living God. Somebody say burden bearers. Burden bearers. These ones, they come into your life. And these ones, they are released into your life. To help you carry your burdens. When the road to destiny becomes rough. Then when the burdens become heavy. You need destiny helpers that are called burden bearers. They are called burden bearers because they are trusted and faithful people that stand with you to the end. Jesus tried to tell the disciples, will you go? But these are the ones, burden bearers, that stick with you to the end. I am praying for somebody here that God will send uh, destiny, help us your way, that will stand with you in the battles of life. You know, when everything is going well, it is easy to have everybody with you. But when things, when there are storms, because in the journey of life, there will be storms, there will be fires, there will be mountains, there will be valleys, there will be uncertain times. You need people that are burden bearers. People that will stand with you in the battles of life. Whether you are in ministry, whether you are in a business, whether you are in the corporate world, storms will come. Whether you are in the political arena and you will need this kind of people that are called burden bearers. Somebody say burden bearers. Burden bearers. So they are trusted, they are faithful, they will stay with you through the storms, they will stay with you through the challenges until your glory is revealed. No matter who you are in this life, times will come, pains will come, that storms will arise and you will need pardon bearers. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Hey, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Release burden bearers in my life. Release burden bearers in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So you will need in the journey of life and destiny, this type of destiny help us. Because challenges will come. Challenges might come to you either individually. Challenges may come to you as a family. Challenges will come to us as a ministry. And we will need burden bearers. Hallelujah. People that can cry with you. People that can rejoice with you. People that can stand with you through the different seasons of life. People that are not just using you as a ladder to achieve their purpose. You need people that can be your burden bearers. These are people whose assignment is to stick with you until you accomplish your purpose. Somebody say, Lord, release my burden bearers. Lord, Lord release, release my, my burden bearers. bearers. These burden carriers, they are trusted people that you can lean on in trouble in times of trouble. They are with you when everybody leaves. Tell your neighbor, they are with you when everybody leaves. They are with you when everybody leaves. And Jesus Christ, he needed burden carriers to accomplish his assignment. When everyone was gone, the twelve were with him. Le Pragadoska. These are the people that stand with you. And they don't only stand with you, they are also ready to die for you. Hey, listen to me. I pray for everyone here. And even those that are watching us from around the world. Yes. May God send you genuine destiny helpers. Amen. That are your burden bearers. Amen. That are your burden carriers. I receive. Because everybody is carrying a burden. And you need people that will carry your burden. Somebody say, Lord, release my burden, bar my burden carriers. Lord, Lord release, release my, my burden, burden carriers. carriers. The third category of destiny helpers that you need 
you need you need uh, we call them the gifted and the skilled somebody said the gifted and the skilled the, the gifted, gifted and, and the skilled. skilled can we have on screen first samuel chapter 16 verse 17 to verse 18 i hope somebody is learning something are you learning yes my prophet first samuel chapter 16 verse 17 to verse 18 let me read it from here. Can we have it on screen? First Samuel chapter 16, verse 17 to verse 18. Yes. So Saul said to his servant, Provide me now a man who can play well and bring him to me. Uh-huh. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I have, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skilled in playing, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person, and the Lord is with him. Hey, tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You need gifted. You need gifted and skilled people. And skilled people. Are you listening to me? You will need in your life people that are gifted and skilled regardless of your area of calling and i declare over your life stretch your hands to the altar yes. i declare over your life yes may god bring you gifted and skilled people amen in your business yes in your company I receive. in your church in your ministry i receive may god give to you yes with gifted people and skilled people amen somebody lift up your hands say i receive i receive i receive i receive gifted and skilled people People. Gifted, gifted and skilled people. people in my life, in my, in my, life. In my business, in my, in, my business. in my company, in my company, in my ministry, in my ministry, in my assignment. In my assignment. Lord, give me gifted and skilled people. Lord, give, give me gifted, gifted and skilled people. people. Another prayer I am praying for you that anywhere you go, yes, you are, and anywhere that your gift is needed. Mm. May they begin to talk about you. Amen. Le Paragadoska. I receive. I declare anywhere your gift is needed. Yes. In the corridors of power. Yes. In places of prominence and significance. Yes. May they begin to look for you. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. Sit down. Hey. Hey. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit. I receive it. Can you imagine soul? was looking for a skilled and a gifted player and you know before this Saul was busy entertaining his fathership in the wilderness until somebody mentioned him positively to king Saul but it was because of his gift his gifting and his skill and in the journey of life you will need gifted and skilled people in order to reach your destiny somebody say i receive them in the name of jesus i, I receive, receive them, them in, in the, the name, name of, of jesus. jesus if you look at any institution that has gifted people it will do well when a ministry like ecc the reason why we are able to touch millions around the world it is because we have gifted people that are serving in every department when a ministry has gifted people it will do well when a business when an institution when a corporation has gifted people it will do well somebody say i am skilled and gifted i, I am skilled, skilled and gifted. Yay! 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 and listen to me the best corporations in the world they have mastered this so they will always pay the price to get gifted people i pray for you le pragadoska i receive le pragadoska i receive may god send you gifted and skilled people in every aspect of your life receive in the name of jesus i receive the fourth category of destiny helper that you need is men and women of influence somebody say men and women of influence men and women of influence tell your neighbor you must connect to the great you, you must, must connect, connect to the great when you walk with great people you automatically become great Amos 3.3, 3, two cannot work together unless they are agreed. And I speak over your life beginning today. You will begin to attract greatness into your life in the name of Jesus. I will see you. There are times you do not have access to certain places. And you need somebody that is already in that place. So that they can speak for you. I pray for somebody here. Yes. Yes. May God connect you to men of influence. Oh, yes. May God connect you to women of influence. I receive. In the name. 
name of Jesus, I receive. I said, may God connect you to high places. Amen. Lift up your hands, say, my Father, my Maker. My, my Father, father my, my Maker. Connect me to influential men and women. Connect, connect me to influential men. That will be my destiny. Help us. That will be my destiny. Help us. Lord. 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 Me to influential men and women connect me to influential men that will speak on my behalf that will speak on my behalf in the name of jesus name of jesus sit down hallelujah so there are times that you do not have access to certain places but you will need someone who is already in that place so that they can speak for you I see God raising great men and women that will speak for you. So don't neglect and don't criticize men and women. You know, there are people when they see successful men and women, they just begin to criticize and fight. Please don't fight greatness. Look at your neighbor, tell them you can't attract what you resist. You can't attract what, what you resist. resist. Are you listening to me? They are great people who you need to connect with because their names are great and they hold the keys to your next level in, the, in their hands. Hey! And God can use them to open a door for you. So you need to connect and to relate with the great. And I'll show you four reasons why Jesus related with the great. Look at your neighbor, tell them you must connect to the great. You must connect to the great. There are people that always want to connect downwards. So that in your circle, you are the only one that uh, seems like they have made it. Tell your neighbor, don't just connect downwards. Don't just connect down. Tell your neighbor, you need somebody that can sharpen you. You need someone somebody that, that can stretch you. Someone that somebody can that can you. talk and you don't even understand. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tell your neighbor, stretch me, stretch me. Stretch, stretch me. Yeah, stretch me. Stretch so don't just surround yourself with sympathizers. Sympathizers will not escort you to destiny. What to kill our cat to woishe? Oh yeah. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone that is watching this broadcast and those that are here at ECC Arena of Miracles. May God connect you to men of influence. I receive. Because there are places they will give you access. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Many people do not know this. Are you listening to me? But you need to connect. You need to connect with men and women of influence. Because their names are great. And they hold the keys to your next level in their hands. I said it is God that blesses. But God blesses people through people. The fifth category of destiny helper. That you will need in your journey of destiny. Is your prophet. You need to identify your prophet. Look at your neighbor. Tell them identify your prophet. Identify, identify your prophet. prophet. Why do you need to identify your prophet? Because the prophets or men and women of God, they are carriers of mantle that make you, that help you reach your destiny, that help you accomplish that which God has deposited in your life. Let's have a common scripture that you all know, Second Chronicles 20, 20, uh, part B of it. Hallelujah. My God. Somebody say prophets. Prophets. They are carriers of mantles. They are, they are carriers, carriers of, of mantles. mantles. Hallelujah. They matter in your journey of life. Are you listening to me? Second Chronicles 2020. Prophets are gifts to the body of Christ. They are gifts from God. They are carriers of divine reward. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. And you shall be established. And believe in his prophet so you shall prosper. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Believing is in two ways. You must believe in the Lord your God so that you can be established. And you must believe in his prophet so that you can prosper. Somebody said believing is in two ways. Believing is in two ways. So prophets also, they are agents of prosperity. Prophets are carriers of divine reward. If you look at Matthew 10, 41, the Bible says, whoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophetic reward. So prophets also, they are carriers of divine reward. And nothing can stop the reward the prophet carries. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, tell them, identify your prophet. Identify, identify your prophet. prophet. From the Bible times, you will see people whose destinies were changed when they encountered their prophet. Look at Saul. He was a donkey chaser. When he encountered the prophet,
prophet of God, the prophet Samuel. He became a king. Look at the disciples of Jesus. When they encountered Jesus, they became apostles. And some of them were fishermen. Hallelujah. But when they encountered Jesus, they became apostles. Look at the Shunammite, the Shunammite woman. She was a noble woman. She had high standing in society. But when she encountered the prophet Elisha, she desired to be a mother. And she became a mother to a child. She became a mother to a son. When she encountered the prophet, look at the widow of Zarephath in a time of famine when she, when she should have eaten her last meal with her son and died. But she encountered the prophet Elijah. And the Bible says she and her household ate for many days. Everybody that was connected to her was blessed because she encountered a prophet. Hallelujah. Prophets are custodians of divine secrets as well. You need a prophet because they are custodians of divine secrets. When you look at Amos 3.7, Amos 3.7, it says, Surely the Lord does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophet. So the secrets of God are not with your father. The secrets of God are not with the governor. The secrets of God are not with the president. The secrets of God are not with your friends. The secrets of of God are not with your boss. I want to read Amos 3 chapter 7. It's on the screen. Surely the Lord does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophet. So prophets are the custodians of the secrets of God. So the, the secrets of God are not with the presidents. They are not with the governors. The secrets of God are not with the senators. Mm. The secrets of God are not with the women representatives. They are not with the MCS, the members of county assembly but the secrets of God yeah. are with his prophets surely the Lord does nothing until he reveals his until he reveals his secret to his servants the prophets mm. listen to me you need to identify your prophet yes, my look prophet. at your neighbor tell them identify your prophet identify, identify your, your prophet. prophet your prophet is your prophet Yes. A prophet comes to profit you. Uh -huh. A prophet comes to accelerate your destiny. Uh -huh. An encounter with a prophet is an encounter with the mind of God. Ah, yes, the anointing of a prophet is the anointing that starts prosperity in your life. Yeah. I speak as the priest of this altar yes, yeah. my and as the prophet of this house. Yeah. I decree and declare yes. your destiny will be fulfilled. I receive. So your prophet is your destiny helper. I stand here as a destiny helper oh, yes. to ECC. Yes. I stand here as a destiny helper ah. to my sons and daughters globally. Yes, my I stand as a destiny helper <laughs> to the global partners. Oh, yes. I declare your destiny will not be aborted. Amen. Your destiny will not be hijacked. Amen. You, are, you will not be stranded in the journey of life. Amen. I speak as your prophet and as your destiny helper. Yes, my you prophet. Are destiny will be fulfilled. Amen. Your Amen. destiny will be fulfilled. Amen. Your Amen. destiny will be fulfilled. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Yay. Yay. So very quickly watch this. I've given you five types of destiny helpers. Number one divine connectors. Let's recap very fast. Somebody say number one divine connectors. Number, number one, one divine, divine connectors. connectors. Somebody say, I receive divine connectors. I receive divine, divine connectors. connectors. Number two. Number two. Burden bearers. Burden bearers. Or burden carriers. Or burden, burden carriers. Somebody say number three. Number three. The gifted and the skilled. The, the gifted and the skilled. Number four. Number, number four. Men and women of influence. Men and, and women of influence. influence. Number five. Number, number five, five. you are prophet my prophet. prophet somebody say you are prophet your my prophet now what do you do when god brings a destiny helper your way i will mention very fast and we pray then i will continue from there what do you do when god how do you relate with your destiny helpers because some people they got destiny helpers 
And some of you, I'm going to pray for a reconnection with your destiny helpers. Because some of you lost your destiny helpers because of how you related with them. I see a reconnection taking place in the name of Jesus. I hey? There are people here that the devil brought confusion and separation in your destiny relationships. Uh -huh. But I'm speaking right now as God's oracle. Yes, yeah. oracle. May God reconnect you with your destiny helpers. I receive. Anyone that was meant to bless you, oh, yes. support you. Yes. Help you uh -huh. hold your hand oh, yes. that left your life before time. My God. I call them forth in the name of Jesus. Yes. May God plant us in the hearts of our destiny helper. Yes. Oh, yes. Any evil informant yes. that has mentioned our names negatively before our help. Jesus. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oracle. I'm going to give you seven ways of relating with your destiny helpers. Then I'll close it for today from there and pick it up tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll be dealing with destiny hijackers. Mm. As I'm releasing your destiny helpers, I need to deal with every destiny hijacker. My TNT. destiny will not be hijacked. Oh, yes. Hey. 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 Number one. If God ever brings a destiny helper your way, honor him or her. Look at your neighbor, tell them, honor him or her. Honor him or her. So you need to develop the culture of honor. When God brings a destiny helper your way, honor him or her. Don't have this tendency of taking people for granted. Are you listening to me? You must do the possible for God to do the impossible. And I told you it is God that blesses, but God blesses people through people. They are people that God has strengthened to help you. Are you listening to me? So when God brings you a destiny helper, you must have, and that is why to all the sons and daughters and stewards in this ministry, I always talk about the culture of honor. And it is my prayer that you will capture it in the name of Jesus. Don't sow a seed of dishonor. Water the tree of honor when you meet a destiny helper and when you connect to a destiny helper honor him or her are you listening to me that does not mean you're worshiping the person but it means you acknowledge that this is the person that god has brought into my life to take me to the next level hallelujah honor him or her may the culture and the spirit of honor be in your dna hallelujah number two prayerfully guard your relationship with prayers when god brings you a destiny help us begin to pray over that destiny connection because there are a lot of attacks some people will try to mention your name negatively it's evil informants mentioning your names negatively before you are helpers sometimes sickness will strike your helpers sometimes calamity making them unable to help you so also prayerfully guard that connection hallelujah so whatever you get by prayer you sustain by prayer so when god gives you a helper start praying for those helpers somebody say wherever my helpers are wherever my helpers are i want you for 30 seconds pray for your helpers that they will not die before they meet you that they will not be stricken by sickness lord i pray for the helpers of this ministry the helpers of ecc the helpers of oracle one media team the oracles, the, 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 the helpers you have assigned for Oracle One TV. The, the helpers you have assigned for my life. The helpers you have assigned to build ECC Mega Church. Lord, the, oh, the helpers you have assigned for the Oracle Global Tours. Lord, bless them. Prosper them financially. Raise them to become millionaires, multi-millionaires, billionaires, wherever they are. I release the blessing of God. Le paragados. In Jesus name. Ujawai ona mtu anakuahidi kukufanyia kitu alafu siku ambao anahitaji akusaidie ndio anapata ajali. Sema shetani ashindwe mfululizo. Shetani ashindwe mfululizo. So you need to prayerfully guard your relationships with your helpers prayerfully. You know prayerfully guard that relationship in prayer. Three. Speak well of your destiny relationships. You know there are people that have a spirit of bad mouthing. Hallelujah. But when you are speaking about your helpers, if you need to speak about them, make sure that you speak well of your destiny helpers. Look at your neighbor, tell them, speak well of your destiny helpers. Speak well of your destiny helpers. Also, I want you to know, pride will always kill a relationship with your destiny helper. Many people, they cannot receive help because of pride. 
Somebody tells you they are going to open a door for you. They are late. Unaanza kuongea vibaya. Sasa ananichelewesha juu ananipatia kazi. Ama ananichelewesha ti kwa sababu ananifungulia mlango. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Mwambie tulia. tulia. Humility is not stupidity. Yes. Hey, touch two people. Tell them. Humility is not stupidity. Humility, Humility is, is not, not stupidity. stupidity. So there are people that pride has killed their destiny relationship. My God. That's true. Pride has killed many destiny relationships. Especially see wa Kenya. Hey. So ananifanyia hivi juu ananisaidia, eh? Ama juu namhitaji sana, sema shetani ashinde mfululizo. Shetani ashinde mfululizo. So pride has killed many destiny relationships. And one thing I'm praying for you, may God give you the spirit of humility. Amen. So for you to be able to relate with destiny helpers, you need to humble yourself because they have what you are looking for. They have your keys to the next level. Are you listening to me? When I'm relating with the great and people that are above me, hallelujah, I cannot complain. Are you listening to me? I have to align myself. I have to humble myself. Listen to me. Tell your neighbor, humble. Hey! Somebody type, I receive the spirit of humility. Because I just don't need to show you how the five types of helpers. I also need to tell you when they come. How do you relate with them? So that you can maintain them. Another way. The fifth way. Uh, you have to make what's important to them important to you. Even if, it's even if it's not important to you. That shows the relationship is important to you. You know there are people that only focus on their things. Hallelujah. Even when their destiny helpers, when your destiny helpers are trying to share with you what is important to them, you have no interest and you don't even care. But listen to me, wisdom is a principal thing. Even if it is not important to you, you know, you need to show it is important to you so that somebody can know the relationship is important to you. What touches your helper should touch you. Are you listening to me? Tell your neighbor, be concerned. Be concerned. Uh-huh. Uh, another, another, an, another thing that will help you. Be willing to always apologize. Even when you think you are not on the wrong. In case sometimes because as, as you are relating with people in the journey of life. There will be differences here and there. But always, always be ready to apologize. Look at your neighbor, tell them, be ready to apologize. Be ready to apologize. And these are etiquettes of greatness. Saying thank you. Saying I'm sorry. These are etiquettes of greatness. Tell your neighbor, learn the etiquettes of greatness. Learn the etiquettes of greatness. Ah, guza jirani yako mwambia kuwa mwepesi kusamehe. Na kuomba msamaha. Yeah, na kusema asante. They are people no matter what you give them. And that, that, that is the seventh one. Be appreciative. Oh, Anything yes. that you take for granted walks away from you. Are you listening to me? Be appreciative. They are people, no matter what you do for them, they feel there is an entitlement. They feel it's their right. Tell your neighbor, it's not your right. It's not your right. Any extra mile anybody goes for you, always appreciate. Tell your neighbor, have an appreciative spirit. Have an appreciative spirit. Are you listening to me? So don't take it like it is my right. Ha! Hey! Ha! Ha! Always say thank you. You know, be appreciative. Smile. Tell people thank you. When you smile to the world, it will smile back to you. When people just go out of their way to do small things, it encourages them to do more. Imagine if you give somebody and they are still asking you, Hey, umiona tu nipatie hii? Are you, there are people that are so, Jesus. I'm telling you this is the truth. There are people that are so inappreciative. Hey, umeona indio inanitosha? Eh? Umeona unipatie hii? Ini madharao gani? You know, they feel it is their right. But look at your neighbor, tell them, have a heart of gratitude. Have, have a heart, heart of, of gratitude. gratitude. Have a heart of gratitude. When relating with your destiny helper, every small effort, appreciate. Appreciate. It will encourage people to do more. Stand up on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. I want us to pray for our destiny helpers. And tomorrow in the Miracle Monday, I want to deal with destiny hijackers. Hey, tell your neighbor, my destiny will not be hijacked. My destiny will not, not be, be hijacked. hijacked. Viewers from around the world, the hour has come, the time has come. 
Le paragados ka magadesh. I receive it. Le paragados. I receive. And the Lord told me there are people here. They will begin to connect to great men and women. Amen. Your names will be mentioned in the corridors of power. I receive. Your voice will be heard in the corridors of power. I receive. Some of you, God is taking you to places of prominence and significance. Oh yes. I see you representing Christ in high places. You are prophesying. I see you dining with kings. I connect. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I am seeing an unusual anointing that is coming mm. over somebody. Oh, yes. Somebody is about to conquer the seven mountains of influence. Amen. Le paragados. You are in the prophetic. Lift up your hands and begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Viewers from around the world. Begin to pray for the five types of helpers. Begin to receive divine connectors. Lord, for this ministry, I receive our divine connectors. I receive our divine connectors. I receive our burden bearers. I receive men of influence and women of influence for access to the next level. Le paragados. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Wherever you are. Le paragados. Le Lipa, begin to mention. Lord, I receive my prophet as a destiny helper. I receive destiny connectors. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Le paragadoska. La prasa. Si paya kadeshka la pragados. Si paragados. Le maragados. Si paya kadeshka. Le paragados. Le paragados. Si paya kadeshka. Lord, release my helpers. Release my helpers. Release my helpers. Financial helpers. Business helpers. Corporate helpers. Le paragados. Le paragados. Se payagados. Le paragados. Le paragados. Se payagados. Le paragados. La bachata. Le paragados. I receive. Le paragados. Si kadesh ka magras. Le paragados. Le paragados. Si paya kadesh. Le paragados. Le paragados. Somebody pray, Lord. Lord. Release my helpers. Release my helpers. Somebody say, anointing that attracts helpers. Anointing that attracts helpers. Fall on me now. Fall on me now. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Compel my helpers to help me. Compel my helpers to help me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands and begin to call your helpers. If you need business helpers, you need financial helpers, you need academic helpers to give you scholarships, you need, you need career helpers. You need help us in the marketplace, in the corporate world. I want you to pray. Lord, release my helper. That will connect me to that tender. That will connect me to that project. Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, wherever my helpers are, whether in the north, whether in the east or west, whether in the central, Lord, Father God, let them locate me now. Let them locate me now. Let them locate me now. Destiny help us. Help us of finance. Help us of business. Oh God, my Father, my God, let them locate me now. In the name of Jesus, La Brasota I call my helpers. I call my helpers of destiny. I call my helpers of renunciation. I call helpers. Let them locate me right now. Let them see me. Let me be visible to them. In the name of Jesus, La Brosokopaya Kapa. In La Kusa Akuya Makayava. Be brilliant, delicate. My Father, my God. Let them locate me. In the name of Jesus, Maya Kapata Lakataba. In Kapaya. My God and my Father, let them locate us now. Let them 
at us now. Father God, rest people that you mention us positively in the midst of our helpers. In the name of Jesus, our God. Oh God, my helpers will not die before they help me. My helpers will not be sick before they locate me. Oh God, protect my destiny helpers. Oh God, give them good health. Oh God. In the name of Jesus, La Prasa Kapaya Kata, Ampayaste Halepa. I want somebody to lift up their hands. I want you to declare, My destiny helpers will not die. My destiny helpers. Somebody will say, die. My father, my maker. My, my father, father, my, my maker. maker. Whoever you have assigned. Whoever you have assigned. As my destiny helpers. As, as my, my destiny, destiny helpers. Helper, they will not die. They, they will not die. die. But they will live. They they will live. To declare the works of the Lord. To, to declare, declare the, the works, works of the Lord. In the land of the living. In, in the, the land, land of the living. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I declare from the north. Yes. From the east, from the west, from the south, yes. from around the nations of the world, yes, your helpers will not rest. Amen. Your helpers will not rest. Amen. They will look for you to bless you. What? I, yes. see. I see eight people. Mm. Hey. I'm seeing God is raising people that will give you business capital. Amen. I am seeing four people. Mm. Yeah. God is connecting them this week for a job. Ah. Yes. With a destiny helper that will recommend you for a job. Yes. Yes. Le Paragados. I I'm seeing two people here. Yeah. A destiny helper will connect you to your spouse. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. 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 Father, let these messages bring testimonies. Yes. Yeah. From around the nations of the world. Yes, yeah. my prophet. Even those that are watching us live. Oh, yeah. yes. You are in America. Yes. yes. You are in Europe. Yeah. Australia, Canada, Asia, oh, yes. Middle East, all over Africa. Receive your destiny help. I receive. Receive business help us. I receive. receive academic help us. I receive. Receive help us in the corporate world. I receive. Receive marital help us. I receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. I receive. As we are standing up, Shandre Bragados. I receive. Le Paragados. I receive. Because the Lord told me to anoint you. That from today, God will make you visible to your helpers and invisible to your, to your destiny killers. Yes. You will meet your helpers and not your haters. Yeah, hey. 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 In life, yeah. you are either experiencing divine assistance or demonic opposition. I declare you will experience divine assistance. I receive. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for some people very quickly. Uh, Le Pragadoska. I receive. Your name is Pamela. I need to pray for you. You are not where you are supposed to be in life. In the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a spirit of almost there but never there. Jesus. I need to pray for you. What is your name? If there's another Pamela, come also. Stretch your hands. Shandre Bragadoska. Le Paragadoska. I need to pray for you. Somebody say, My father, my maker. My, my father, my maker. maker. The distance between where you are and where you are going. It's not in kilometers. It is in divine connectors. God is going to release a divine connector. Chandre Bragadoska. Stretch your hands towards her. I'm hearing like Ikutwa. Like Ikutwa. Ikutwa. What is your name? Pamela Ikutwa. Le Paragadoska. Prophesy. The Lord is telling me in your family. Chandre Bragadoska. These altars of rising and falling. I am breaking them in the name of Jesus. In this service, God is going to release destiny helpers in your life that will catapult you to your next level. Destiny helpers, Shandre Bragados. Stretch your hands towards this lady. I am seeing God raising you to become a destiny helper in your family. I Somebody say, I will be a destiny helper in my family. I will, I will be, be a, a destiny, destiny helper, helper in Shafiq, my family. can I have the oil? Somebody say, I will be a destiny helper. I will, I will be, be a, a destiny, destiny helper. helper. Joseph was a destiny helper in his family. Are you listening to me? He was a preserver of life. He was a way maker. Esther was a destiny helper. She was a deliverer to her family. 
I hear the Lord say, you are the deliverer. You are the deliverer. You are the deliverer. And I see as you are coming out of this family captivity, God is bringing people that are, com that are connected to you out of this captivity. Lepragadoska, zegadeshka, leparagadoska, zipayagadeshka, labragadoska. Lepa, who is Maureen? Maureen, my sister. Your sister. Oh, yes. As you are coming out of this family captivity, I see everybody connected to you coming out. I'm seeing Adelaide. Who is Adelaide? Sister. Your sister. Oh, yes. Leparagados. Prophesied I am seeing like Jen in the realm of the spirit. Who is Jen? My sister. Can I go deeper? You are oh, prophetic. Deep. Go deeper. I prophesy as you are coming out of that captivity. Oh, yes. Everybody that is connected to you. Yes. Your brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. Your sons and daughters. Yes. They are coming out of this captivity. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord says you are the destiny helper. Who is Julius? Julius, my brother. Julius is your brother. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I bless you from today. The Lord tells me to tell you, you are coming out of the wilderness. You are out. Go and succeed. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for a man in the spirit. Shandre Bragados. I receive. Oh. Yes. Mm, worship. Lift up your hands, somebody. Lord, speak. Your servant is listening. Shandre Bragados. I'm hearing, I need to pray for somebody. Your name is George. Your name is George. And I am seeing in the realm of the spirit, there is a wave of restoration that is coming your way. God will connect you to three people. I'm hearing like George, then I'm hearing like Gikambi. I need to pray for you. There are three people I need to release into your life. If you're in this service and your name is George, everybody lift up your hands. Leparaga, can we have another song? Zepayagadesh. Your name is George. I need to pray for you. George, your name is George. I need to pray for you. Come to the altar. I'm also seeing another man I need to pray for. Your name is Kennedy. Your name is Kennedy. Also, I need to pray for you. Kennedy, your name is Kennedy. I want you to come. It doesn't matter how many you are. Come, all of you. I, I see your face. I see your case. Yes. I see your case. This is the oracle. I prophesy. Prophesy. And viewers from around the world, I want you to connect to collect. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are, receive a divine connector. Receive a burden bearer. I speak as your prophet and as your destiny helper. Your story will change. Please lower your mask. I want to talk to these three gentlemen. Stretch your hands towards them. So amongst you, who is George? Zepaya Gadesh. You are also George. And you are who? Kennedy. Stretch your hands towards them. Leparagados. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Zebra Gadesh. Zepaya Gadesh Kamagadesh. Leparagados. Sitabaki Kama. You know, I'm going to Tangaza. Sitabaki Kama. Sitabaki Kama. Yes. I heard, I heard George. Then I heard like Gikambi, 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 Gikambi. What is your other name? What is your name? George you're George Patrick. But I'm hearing, there's somebody I'm hearing. And if you're watching as live from around the world, I need you to comment so that I know you are the one. I need to pray for you. There's something I need to cancel. Then I'm also hearing Kennedy and I'm hearing like Othiambo. Kennedy and I'm hearing Othiambo. Your name is Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy, Kennedy Othiambo. You are Kennedy who? Your name is who? Come, both of you, George. I pray for you. But there's still a George I need to pray for. Then I'll also pray for you. Where is the oil? Stretch your hands towards them. 
God is restoring your life. God is raising destiny helpers. I saw three helpers that were coming for this person I need to pray for. And wherever you're watching me from, from around the world, I cancel that plan of the devil. Your destiny will not be aborted. Every conspiracy to bring you down. Yes. May God turn it to your lifting. Somebody pray that prayer. Any conspiracy. Any conspiracy. To bring me down. To bring me down. Lord, turn it to my lifting. Lord, turn it to my lifting. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Fight battles. Fight battles. On my behalf. On my behalf. Fight battles I don't know about. Fight battles I don't know about. Fight unforeseen enemies. Fight unforeseen Lord, enemies. Lord, protect me. Lord, protect me. Your destinies are preserved. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Come stand here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just lower your mouth so that I can speak to you. I heard like Kennedy, then I heard the name Othiambo. You said your name is who? Kennedy Othiambo. Kennedy Othiambo. As I look at you in the realm of the spirit, you are not where you are supposed to be. I am seeing you carry the destiny of greatness. But I need to pray against destiny hijackers. Because when I look at you right now in the realm of the spirit, you are supposed to be serving in government. In the realm of the spirit, you are supposed to be serving in government. You are supposed to be serving in government. And the Lord is taking me back to 2007. What happened in 2007? I vied as an MCA. You vied as an MCA. Oracles, oh prophesy. But I see in the realm of the spirit, the day that you said you are going to vow, that is when destiny hijackers, I see them raising altars of witchcraft, satanic altars in high places. And I saw one of their plots was to kill you. I am counting. Somebody count with me. One. 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 Two. Two. Two, three, three, three four, four, five, five, five six, 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 seven, seven, seven eight, eight, eight. I am seeing if it was not the hand of God on your life. And the prayers of your late parents that are still speaking on your behalf. I am not seeing your parents. They died a long time ago. Yes. You never even saw them. Uh, and then the eight thing of women involved. Wait. Okay. Shandre Bragadoska, I am the prophet. So listen to me. You don't have to give me stories. I can already see in the realm. Can you I are prophetic. Ah. Yeah. Prophesy. Right. You are prophetic. Every All time. Of God. Watch this. I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I saw eight times the devil had an attempt on your life. I am seeing eight accidents. I am seeing eight accidents. That you have gone through. How many accidents have you gone through? Eight in one year. My God. Eight accidents. My God. The devil wanted to kill you. And I'm seeing one in particular that was so fatal. I am seeing three people dying instantly. Where did that accident happen? Along Naivasha. We were four and You are the only survivor. Yeah. Stretch your hands towards him. You are prophetic. From the time he said he was fine witches satanic altars in high places were raised can i locate that altar that wants to locate it him? oracle can i locate that altar that is crying for his Go blood? ahead prophet of mystery i am seeing ugenya in the realm of the spirit i am seeing an altar in ugenya how are you connected to ugenya i am seeing ugenya in the realm of the prophetic how are you connected to ugenya we come from ugenya you come from Ukenya. Hey, Can I go deeper? Go yeah. deeper. Liparagadoska. If I be a prophet, oh, yes, you, are. you shall not die. Yeah. But live and declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Today your destiny shall be restored. Stretch your hands towards him. Shandre Bragadoska. The devil wanted to kill you eight times. And in one of the accidents, I saw three people die. Because God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your life. But the devil has wasted your life. You are meant for greatness. You are a star. 
but I see destiny hijackers using sorcery and witchcraft to manipulate your life and destiny. It is because of God's cover over your life. Somebody lift up your hands. Every witchcraft altar yes. that has been raised against you and your family. Yes. I break it in the name of Jesus. Pray. I declare it is altar versus altar. Oh, yes. Every negative decree yes. against your life and your destiny. Yes, I speak as your prophet and as your destiny. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Every plan of the devil. Yes. yes. Every destiny hijacker. Yes. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Any voice from the grave. Yes. That is calling our names. Ah. Or the names of our family members. Yes. Be silent. Be silent. I speak as an oracle. Yes, oracle. You will not go to an early grave. Amen. You will not bury your children. Amen. Your children will not bury you. Amen. They will not bury you. Amen. I declare the covenant of long life is our heritage. Amen. I speak the covenant of long life. Oh, yes. I speak the covenant of long life. I receive. According to Psalms 91 16. Yes. So shall it be. I want to pray for you. Stretch your hands towards. Today your destiny shall be restored. You will be a great man. Mark this day. God is going to align you with destiny. Help us. I am seeing in the realm of the spirit. I am going three years from now. The Lord says walk in the ways of the Lord. God is about to surprise you. What God is about to do in your life, no eye has seen, no ear has heard. Neither has it entered the hearts of men, the things that God has in store for you. I see even now you are struggling, yet I'm seeing you having papers. I'm seeing you holding papers in your hands. Can I go deeper? Go no deeper, deep. my prophet. I am seeing you are struggling, yet you have papers in your hands, but they are not helping you. I am seeing Masinde Muliro University. What is this? University Masinde Muliro. Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Can Professor. I go deeper? Go deeper. Anyone that vowed your degrees will not help you. Yes. Anybody that vowed your connections will not benefit yes. you. Oh, yes. Anybody that vowed you will never prosper. Jesus. Today I nullify their verdicts. By fire. Today I speak judgment. Oh, yes. I speak judgment over every negative decree. Amen. Anyone that vowed you will never be married. Yes. You will never be a mother. Oh, yes. You will never have a good job. Yes. You will never be a millionaire. Yes. You will never go international. Oh, yes. Today I speak judgment on their verdicts. Amen. I'm seeing papers, but I'm seeing they are covered. They are covered with darkness. Stretch your hands. Anyone that covered, there are people on their graduation day. Somebody went, they went to a sorcerer and they said it is true. They have graduated, but they will not succeed. It is true, they have done a master's, they have done a degree, but it will not help them. They will not enjoy the fruits. I nullify their judgments. Oh, yes. I bless your life. Amen. I open your doors. Open. There are people that are struggling with high credentials. Because I saw papers on your hands and I saw Masinde Muliro and I was seeing like procurement. What did you pursue there? Procurement. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, oracle. Bring the oil, Shafiq. I want to lay my hands on you. You will know I am an oracle. You are prophetic. Because your story will change. Yes. I am not an orator. Yes. I speak as an oracle. Yes. Le paragadoska. And don't give up on your political destiny. The Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. The Lord says that was preparation. God will always prepare you before he manifests you. The Bible says though a righteous man may fall down seven times, he will rise again. And the fact that you are not dead and you could have died in one of the eight accidents, it means that God has a great plan for your life. The Lord tells me to tell you there is hope for your future. You may not know what the future holds, but you can trust him that holds your future. Stretch your hands. I am seeing your destiny being hijacked. 
in the realm of the spirit, it was on a Thursday. You know, some people's destiny were hijacked from birth. Because the devil is able to design who you shall become even before you become it. Hey, somebody say, I will recover. I will, I will recover. recover. God reveals to redeem. Oh, yes. You discover to recover. Yeah. Le Paragadoska. Can I go to the source of your problem? Oh, Lord, yes, prophet. You are in your office. Professor. Stretch your hands. Come here. It was on a Thursday. Le Pragadoska. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. It was on a Thursday. The 22nd. I am seeing one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm seeing the sixth month. That is June. Then I'm seeing one, nine, eight, nine. One, nine, eight, nine. When is your date of birth? Exactly. When? Six. You are born when? On 20, on 22nd? June. June. The sixth month. Yes. 19. Yeah. Prophetic yeah. general. Prophesy. Any destiny hijacker that tampered with your destiny. I'm seeing it was on a Thursday. Thursday. I'm seeing it was on a Thursday. 22nd. June. That is where I said the sixth month. 1989. Stretch your hands towards it. Everything that the devil took from you from your date of birth. Yes. Today I declare you are recovering. Lebragadoska. Anyone that has been using your star. Every star hijacker. Yes. I command them to release it. You know what I'm going to say? You say, my yote anayetumia nyotayangu. Your yote anayetumia nyotayangu. Kupata mali au tajiri. Kupata mali au tajiri. Achilia! Achilia! Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Sema na ikomboa nyotayangu. Na ikomboa nyotayangu. Somebody say, I redeem my star. I redeem my star. Somebody say, from today. From today, my destiny is protected. My destiny is protected. My destiny is preserved. My destiny is preserved. From destiny hijackers. From destiny hijackers. From destiny destroyers. From destiny destroyers. From destiny hunters. From destiny hunters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare from today, you shall recover all, go and prosper. It is done in Jesus' name. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. God is opening a new chapter in your life. Mungu anafungua kurasa mpya. Naomba mtumikie Mungu kwa sababu siku siku zako zijazo ni bora katika jina la Yesu. Somebody lift up your hands. Somebody say every star you want to put an offering there. Go and prosper as you have released what is in your hands. May God release what is in his hands. Amen. Shandri bragados. It is done. Take it in the name of Jesus. Power. Lift up your hands. Hey. Hey. He was from around the world. Those that are here at ECC Auditorium. I speak as an oracle over your life. Yes. I declare every star hijacker be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Destiny hunters, destiny hijackers, destiny killers. You will not locate our destiny. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. Before we go to the next level, I want you to hold a prophetic seed in your hand. Can I have the, 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 the carpet that I said? As you are giving this seed, I'm going to give you instructions. Sit down. Viewers from around the world, I want you to hold a prophetic seed in your hand. And this seed that we are sowing in our hands is to say, our destiny help us. May God compel our helpers to help us. As God commanded the ravens to feed Elijah, may God command your helpers to help you. Somebody say, Lord, Lord. compel my helpers to help me. Compel my helpers to help me. Lay it across like this. Or this way. I think this way is better. 
Somebody say Lord. Lord. Somebody lift up your hands and say Lord. 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 Compel my helpers to help me. Compel my helpers to help. Bring it right here to the altar. Shandre Bragadoska. I want you to, you are going to walk here prophetically as you saw that seed. Hold your hand. I want everybody to prepare that seed in your hand. Prepare that seed in your hand. Prepare, hold that seed in your hand. If it's on your mobile device, if it's on your mobile device, push it this way a little bit. Yes, this way. Le Paragadoska. I heard the Lord say, God is preparing a seat of honor for you. God is going to take you to places of prominence and significance. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. We are sowing this prophetic seed for the five destiny helpers that we need in our lives. That God will solidify and strengthen our destiny relationships. I want you to sow that seed for divine connectors, burden bearers, gifted uh, gifted and skilled people in your life. I want you to sow that seed for your prophet, to connect to your prophet. Sow that seed for the five uh, dimensions of helpers I have taught and spoken about from the altar of this ministry. Men of influence, hallelujah. Women of influence that are coming into your life. And there are people that are watching me right now. You can sow that seed of $50 to connect, to say, I am sealing this prophetic word. Three of you can sow that seed of $500. You can sow $50. If you are saying, Oracle, I have nothing. Make sure you sow at least $5. I want you to sow this prophetic seed. You can give that seed of $50. 50 is the number of Jubilee. You can give three of you are coming into major financial breakthrough. Three of you I see you need to sow that seed of $500. You are coming into a major financial shift. There is a major financial, there is a major financial helper that God is releasing your way. I want you to do it. Hold that seed in your hand. To those that are watching us from around the world, you can sow that seed on PayPal. You can sow that seed if you're in America on Cash App. You can sow that seed on a mobile money and Pesa via Wave. To those that are joining us globally, you can give within the East African community on m -Pesa. Sow that seed. Connect to the old of this ministry if people can go to witches and give sacrifices to destroy our destinies we can also covenant to God by our sacrifice and any demonic altar that calls your name we declare fire will answer so I want everybody you are here it's on your phone hold your phone if it's on your bank card there will be a kingdom hostess that will stand here with the PDQ machine to facilitate. But viewers from around the world, I want to pray. I want you to remove your shoe as you come to sow this seed. I will direct you how. I want you to walk on this carpet. Can I have the oil? I speak prophetically. I want you to remove your shoes. As you are walking on this carpet, I decree and declare, before this year is over, yes, you will walk in places of prominence and significance. I Bring receive. the oil, Shafiq. The Lord that has taken me from the slums of Madare. Yes. yes. And taken me to places of prominence and significance. Yes. Shandre Bragados. I receive. Lord, you told me prophetically. Anything that tied your feet. That you will not go to nations. That you will not have access to places of prominence and significance. Yes. As you are walking here prophetically. Uh, I pour the oil. Le Pragadosk. I pour the oil. Whatever they used to tie your legs. Yes. I untie you today. Amen. I pour the oil. Yes. As you are walking on this oil and on this red carpet. I speak as a prophet. Yes, my the prophet. God that has taken me to places that my academic credentials could not take me. Yes. Yes. My family background could not take me. I declare access for you. 
I receive. You will conquer the seven mountains of influence. I receive. Your feet will lead you to your blessing. I receive. Your feet will lead you to your breakthrough. I receive. I receive. I break the chains. Yes. I break the yokes. Break. I declare your feet will go to nations. Amen. The grace I have carried as I have preached in America. Yes. UK, Europe, yes. the Middle East, across Africa. Oh, yes. If I have gone to 50 nations, as your prophet receive a double portion of my spirit, I go to 50 in the name of Jesus. Amen. Le Paragadoska. I receive. Father, as your people prophetically walk on this carpet, yes. I declare the beginning of a new season. I receive. Wherever they tied you, I untie you. Yes. yes. I speak access for you. I receive. I hear the Lord say the door is open. Yes. It's open. Any adversary against your open door. Yes. yes. Let that adversary be destroyed. Amen. Amen. Father, even those that are far, distance is not a barrier. Those that are sowing from different parts of the world, sons and daughters, ECC members, global partners that are in America, UK, Switzerland, Ireland, Germany, Italy, wherever they are, Norway, Lord, in Dubai, in Qatar, in Oman, in Kuwait, in Saudi Arabia, in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Guyana, in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago, in Haiti, wherever they are, in Tanzania, Namibia, South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Sierra Leone, Liberia, I declare the door is open. It's open. Let your seat on the altar of this ministry speak on your behalf. Amen. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I want you to take off your shoes wherever you are. I want you to prophetically take off your shoes wherever you are. Take off your shoes wherever you are. I speak as an oracle. Shandre Bragadoska. I'm crossing As you are walking here. Remember the sacrifice you are giving. You are entering into covenant with God. I want you prophetically to walk on your bare feet. May you walk in places of greatness. That where nobody has gone in your family. Yes. You will be the first. I receive. Places. What took your parents a lifetime to achieve. Yes. I declare you will achieve it. I okay? receive it. I hear the Lord say the door is open. It's open. You will break barriers. I yes. receive. You will be a line crosser. I receive. You will be honored. Yes. I, I said honor is coming into somebody's life. Amen. Where you are despised. Yes. Yeah. I declare you will shine the brightest. I receive. Where you suffered the most. Jesus. I am seeing honor coming into somebody's life. I receive. Chandre Bragadoska Magadesh. I receive. I declare people that looked down on you, they will look up to you. Amen. Le Paragadoska. I receive. May doors of breakthrough be open. Be open. May doors of business be open. Be open. Doors of prosperity. Be open. Doors to dine and to meet kings be open. Be open. You will stand before great men. I receive. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want we are going to do it uh, two rows at a time. You are you have that seed in your hand. And I said for those that are watching us live from around the world, I want you to give God a seed of breaking barriers. To say, I am connecting to my destiny helpers. Hold this. I'm connecting to my destiny helpers. If it's on your mobile device, you will use that phone to touch the altar. If you have it tangibly laid on the altar, if it's on your bank card, you will use it and you will touch the altar. Viewers from around the world, I want you to sow that seed of $50 prophetically. It is unlocking something. Three of you, three of you, I am seeing a major financial breakthrough and I'm also seeing a diplomatic appointment. My God, I am seeing you walking into the corridor of power. I'm seeing you being summoned in state house. I book your appointment now. Yes. Le Paragados. I receive. So please, yeah, one at a time you will come. One at a time. Can we can we have a song? I'm crossing Media over. Media director, please can you talk to the international? To the other side. You're following this prophetic direction. You can send your seed of breaking the barriers to the Mpesa number 0710 84 21 21. 
Alternatively, you can give via pay bill. The business number is 222118. The account number is Empower Hash. You're tuning in online. Friends of this ministry, partners of this ministry, ECC family, global partners, you can send your tithe, you can send your offering, you can send your prophetic seed to the MPESA number that is below, and you can comment while remit, and you'll be directed towards your giving to all the Francophone countries. Les personnes qui suivent des pays francophones, vous pouvez envoyer votre semence prophétique au numéro 0710842120. Vous pouvez également utiliser le numéro Paybill 228 sur le numéro de compte Empower DS. Que Dieu vous bénisse, que Dieu vous élève, que Dieu vous fasse prospérer, que Dieu vous fasse grâce. Au nom de Jésus, Amen. To the other side, with God beside me. I will win I'm crossing over To the other side With God beside me yeah. I will win I'm crossing over I'm crossing over To the other side With God beside me I will win Beside me, oh, I will win. Yeah, I will win. I will win. I will win. With God beside me, I know I will win. 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 I will win You're crossing over To your other side Thank you Jesus Viewers from around the world I want you to connect to collect You're watching us from different parts of the world I speak as an oracle over your life That power is open As you're sowing that seed on PayPal On Cash App on a on a wave as you're sowing that seed on Mpesa, as you're connecting to the altar of this ministry may this be a covenant that will speak on your behalf may your sacrifice consume the sacrifice of your enemies may your sacrifice consume the sacrifice of your enemies i hear the lord say you will be a woman of influence you will be a testimony of god's faithfulness there is a lifting for the people of God. Yes. There is a lifting yeah. for the people of God. I receive it. I will Lady win. Oh. With God beside me. There is a lifting. Yeah. I will win. also need i want you to also do the prophetic act even if you had no seed to sow you are the people that god is raising everybody ensure i want you even though you had no seed to sow make sure but yeah. don't come with your shoes ensure you remove your shoes follow my instruction hallelujah it is instruction that eliminates destruction the instruction you obey determines the future you create make sure that you come even if you had no seed to sow you are saying mama oracle i had no seed to sow i want you as long as you are in ecc the arena of miracles ensure that you walk on this uh, red carpet this is a prophetic act in the name of jesus and the spirit of god the reason why i'm doing this it is because the lord said to me yeah, that you are becoming a man and a woman of influence some of you god will raise you in the media some of you god will raise you in the entertainment
entertainment industry. Some of you, God will raise you in the educational sector. Amen. Some of you, God will raise you in government. Some of you, God will raise you in the financial sector. Amen. Some of you in the marketplace. You are called for dominion. Yes. Somebody say, I'm called for dominion. I'm called for dominion. Some of you, God is elevating you. Even those that are watching us from around the world to occupy places and positions of influence in government. Some of you will be councillors, MCAs, members of parliament, diplomats, ambassadors. My God, I see on all the seven mountains of influence, there are people that God is raising. I speak authority over the mountains that God has called you to legislate. I speak right now. I Take authority over the mountains that God has called you to legislate in the name of Jesus. Le paragados kamagadeshka. I see entrepreneurs that God is raising globally. Le paragadoska. I see in the areas of governance. Le paragadoska. Ze payagadeshka. God is raising men and women that will make policies and legislations that fear God and honor God. Le paragados kamagadeshka. Le paragados. Yes. You will be a voice. Amen. I declare influence is coming. I, I declare dominion is coming. I Father, receive. everyone that has sown a seed here, tangibly via our ministry pay bill, via our ministry and PESA line, via the PDQ, those that are sowing globally on PayPal, on Wave, you are sowing globally on Cash Up, you are sowing on FNB from South Africa. Distance is not a barrier. And I said there are 30 of you. You need to sow that seed of $50. 30 of you, $50. 50 is the number of Jubilee. God is releasing the five dimensions of helpers over your life. You are entering into covenant with God that your destiny helpers will not miss you. And three of you I saw, you can sow that seed of $500. Take that step of faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to roll the carpet. Lift up your hand as you're singing. This seed is blessed in Jesus' name. Shandre Bragadoska. Put that carpet back in my office. Le Pragadoska. Zepaya Gadeshka la Bragadoska. I receive. Le Bragadoska. Zepaya Gadeshka la Bragadoska. I receive. Inu amikono ya kutangaze. Sitabaki kama nilivyo Sitabaki kama nilivyo Sitabaki kama Sitabaki kama nilivyo declare from today you will represent Christ in the corridors of power I declare God is raising you to walk in the corridors of power somebody here your name will be mentioned in the corridors of power Amen. your voice will be heard I receive you will represent Christ in the corridors of power Amen. Le paragados I, receive. I release the anointing to rule and reign I receive in the mighty name of Jesus I, receive. I see God raising here yes. and those that are watching decision makers Amen. policy makers Amen. people that will walk in dominion yes. Le I receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are God's investment. You, you are God's, God's investment. Yeah, look at your neighbor. Tell them, I am God's investment. Yeah, I, I am God's, God's investment. investment. That is why no matter what they tried, you survived. This guy eight times, but he survived. Why? He's God's investment. Tell your neighbor you are dealing with God's investment. You, you are, are dealing, dealing with, with God. God. Let your enemies know that you are God's investment. Yeah. Yeah. Power. Before I close this service, I want to pray for the tithers and the partners. You are there. You are a tither. You are a partner. You know, every time you give your tithe, it is in obedience to God's word. When you give your tithe, it honors God. Your tithe makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. Your tithe brings judgment. Viewers from around the world, it brings judgment to the enemies of your prosperity. 
I want us to give our tithes. You know, your tithe makes God the senior partner of your business, the senior partner of your job. I want you, if you are a tither, you need an envelope. Our kingdom hostess in black and red have some envelopes in their hands. Lift up your hands well so that they can see wherever you are, you need an envelope. If you're giving your tithe via check, make it payable <coughs> to empowerment a Christian church and the Lord God will bless you. To those that are giving their tithes via PDQ machines, our kingdom hostess uh, is standing right here with the PDQ machine ready to facilitate. To those that are watching us from around the world, this is the time to lay your tithe. You are in Canada. You are watching me sons and daughters in Canada, in North America, South America, in Jamaica, the Caribbeans. You're watching me from Ecuador. You're watching me from Dubai. Qatar, Oman, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. You're watching me, sons and daughters from South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Congo, Nigeria, Ghana, wherever you are, Switzerland, you are in Italy, you are in Germany, Air France. It is your time to connect to the altar of this ministry. You have your tithe with you. Distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. Let the altar of ECC speak on your behalf wherever you are. If altars from your village can fight you and affect your destiny in America, also the altar of ECC can affect and influence your destiny and your elevation in America, in the UK, wherever you are. I want you right now, prepare your tithe, prepare your partnership. Partners are people that have the agenda of God in their finances. You know, so you are there, you are a tither, you are a partner. I'm praying that God will raise millionaires and billionaires that will finance the kingdom. I've been telling God, Lord, raise burden bearers for the church of ECC. People that will ask, how much are we paying this place? Burden bearers that will say, Mama Oracle, we need more screens. Mama Oracle, we need to, we need these cameras. We need them to be wireless. Hallelujah. You know, I need people that are burden bearers. I've been praying, Lord, for ECC. And even as we fast for these three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I want you to pray for your helpers. Tell your neighbor fast. Fast. Ask your neighbor, are you feasting or fasting? Are you feasting or fasting? That is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Three days of prayer. The Lord told me to give people a clarion call to prayer. Sons and daughters, ECC family, global partners. We are fasting for three days. You can fast six to three. You can fast six to six. Now, wale wa melemewa kabisa atutaki kuwaacha nyuma six to one. Uliza jirani yako, wona fast gani? Wona fast gani? Ukiangalia jirani yako, wona kaku fast gani? Six to one, shetani ashindwe mfululizo. Aguza jirani yako mambia six to six. Six to six. Mi naona ma prayer warriors. Hey! Hey! You know, if you are not praying, you are playing with destiny. Hallelujah. So we are going to be fasting. That is on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and on Thursday. And to all the global partners that want to speak to me one-on-one -on -one via video call, begin to register on the numbers on your screen, the WhatsApp number. I will be at the mountain and I will be praying for the global partners via video call one-on-one. -on -one. Begin to register those three days. I see your face. I see your case. I see your case. I prophesy. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. You are here. You are a tither. You are a partner. Please come to the altar very quickly in Jesus' mighty name. You are here. You are a tither. You are a partner. You have your tithe and your partnership. Those that are giving from around the world, can we have a very quickly uh, a short, a short uh, uh, update on how they can give in Jesus' mighty name. Please come with your tithe to the altar. There are people that have been keeping their tithes at home. Others have been keeping their tithe for months. You have never given that tithe. I challenge you under this anointing. Release what is in your hands. So that God can release what is in his hands. When Abraham met Melchizedek, he gave a tithe of all. And it is in then that God swore by his name that in blessing he was going to bless him. Sons and daughters of the oracle globally. You can send your tithe and partnership to the M-Pesa number 0710842121. Alternatively, you can give via pay bill. The business number is 222118. The account number 
is Empower Hash. You're tuning in online. You can comment on this live broadcast. Comment PayPal, comment Wave, comment World Remit. Our media team is on standby and they will direct you towards your giving. Lord, I speak the tither's blessing over every tither that is standing on the altar of ECC at the arena of miracles and the tithers that are giving life from the nations of the world. I declare, may the Lord crown you with glory. May the Lord put you in the rightful place. May the Lord exalt you, honor you and restore you. I declare the place you suffered the most, go and shine the brightest. The place you were despised, go and be raised. The place you were disgraced, go and receive grace. The place you are disappointed, I declare God gives you appointment. Le paragadoska. I come against every strategy of the enemy to destroy your finances. I declare financial freedom. You will be business owners, homeowners, CEOs of companies. Amen. The spring of your wealth will never go dry. Amen. I bless every tither and I declare go and prosper, go and succeed. I remove your finances from the dominion of the powers of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Viewers from around the world, I release the tither's blessing. I release the tither's blessing. I release the tither's blessing. In America, receive the tither's blessing. In Canada, receive the tither's blessing. In Europe, UK, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, Netherlands, wherever you are. I declare France, Belgium, receive the tither's blessing. In Indonesia, in Russia, receive the tither's blessing. In Guyana, receive the tither's blessing. In South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, receive the tither's blessing. In Uganda, in Rwanda, in Sierra Leone, I receive the tithers blessing i bless your life in jamaica in the name of jesus receive the tithers blessing in the caribbean wherever you're watching us from let this altar speak on your behalf and on behalf of your family i provoke a generation of blessing in jesus name shout amen, amen. i want everybody to hold their phone but before i pray this prayer you are here you've not given your life to jesus if you pray this prayer after the service, you can see one of our two pastors and the Lord God will bless you. You need prayer, you need counseling, you need any, you have any inquiry. After the service, you will see one of our two pastors after the service and they will be able to guide you and to direct you but before we close this broadcast uh, remember we are fasting we are fasting we are fasting on tuesday on wednesday and on thursday and i will be coming live with prophetic prayers at 10 30 east african time which is 8 30 uk time and 2 30 washington time hallelujah 2 30 p.m so every 10 30 p.m tuesday wednesday Wednesday and Thursday I will be coming to pray with you prophetically as we fast together for the three days these three days will change your story you are ending this year with a testimony with a breakthrough so I want you international partners sons and daughters you have been dealing with the spirit of almost there but never there that you have been dealing with monitoring spirits the spirits of stagnation and setback you are believing God for clarity and direction you want to start a business you've been trusting God to complete your project I want to pray for you one on one you feel you are called into the ministry I want to pray for you I want to speak into your life ensure you register for one on one on our ministry whatsapp line that is on your screen and I will be calling you in those three days of prayer and fasting uh, uh, when I will be at the mountain to the glory of God to those that are watching us live you're part of the 30 people I want you to sow that seed of $50 you're part of the three go and sow that seed you are when god wants to give you a harvest he will always ask you for a seed your seed of today is your fruit of tomorrow and tomorrow in the service the lord said to me uh, we are going and prophetically because there are people that have are not they come to miracle monday but they are not here on sunday because miracle monday is our interdenominational service tomorrow also is the last day hallelujah so also come prepared again 
for the last time. And this time now I will be speaking prophetically as you walk on that red carpet. The Lord told me untie the feet of people. There are people whose feet were tied that they will never ever have access to places of prominence and significance. They can see it but they cannot access it. The Lord said the door is open. So tomorrow, uh, the Lord said to tell to tell the people, I will what I will anoint is your phone because that is what connects you to the world. That wherever your helpers are, tomorrow make sure come with your phone also in the Miracle Monday service. So before we sign off to those that are watching us live on Facebook, on YouTube, courtesy of Oracle One TV, you are not born again. The greatest of all miracles is the miracle of salvation. And those that are here that want to receive Jesus, Jesus. Can we help them pray this prayer? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Wash me today. Wash me today with your precious blood. With your precious blood. I acknowledge. I acknowledge you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Write my name. Write my in name in the book of life. In the book of life. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, God bless you.